Good evening, everyone. Welcome back, baby. It's Quarantine Concert Series. We're back, coming to you live from the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia. Dirty South, Dirty Bird. I can do a Dirty Bird. Okay. Um, I'm coming to you from my parents' place, and my mom, I think, is sleeping upstairs, but when I, again, told her who was playing tonight, I think she's secretly watching, so hi, Mom. Um, thanks for tuning in. And uh, this is show number 82. I'm your host, Kabir Segel, um, and we've been at it, I think, 62 consecutive days, but we can see the end in sight. We can see the end in sight, and uh, we're going to go fishing. That's right. Sandra, Camilo, and I are going to go fishing after 100 shows. That's the boat right there. It's a yellow boat. And that's me fishing, obviously. Um, let's zoom up on that. Um, that's Camilo telling me how, showing me how to fish, obviously, an incredible sound engineer who produces these shows. That's um, Sandra telling us where to fish because she's driving the boat with Oreo. And we're driving it in the direction of Maui, one of their two dogs. So And now we're drowning with the bubbles. So we're very excited to be going fishing and retiring the show in a few weeks, um, June 2nd, but who's counting? Uh, but until then, we're, gonna, we're really excited to be bringing you live music. Of course, you know by now what we're doing. Um, we're going through an international pandemic. And even though places like here are opening up, Atlanta, Georgia, um, I still haven't been to the tattoo parlor and I haven't been to the bowling alley, but places are opening up incrementally. I still think it's going to be sort of uh, the norm for music performances because big performing halls and even little ones are the last to open. So uh, gigs have been canceled into 21, into 2021, and this is an effort to spotlight incredible artists who uh, share with us their mind, body, and soul, their incredible artistry with us. They always keep us so uh, uplifted with their music. So we want to make sure that um, we're there for them. And if you know someone who's in the creative space, um, you can be there for them too. Uh, here's how I recently wrote an op-ed in Market Watch about how to support uh, instrumentalists, uh, independent musicians. Um, the title is called "Become a Patron of the Arts to Help the U.S. Economy Get Back in Tune." The the U.S. Economy, five uh, percent of the GDP, gross domestic product, comes from the arts, comes from the creative sector. Independent musicians are part of this. So uh, if you want to have a resilient local economy, you have to support the artists locally. How do you do that? All kinds of ways: buy the merchandise by the hat, by the left shot sock, by the right sock, by the fanny pack, by the wrist bracelet, by the headband, just buy the merchandise, buy the CDs, right? Go to Patreon um, and sponsor an artist. There's always been a, an, a relationship between patrons and artists, so it's important to, to keep that strong and vibrant, especially if you want to hear the, the music that you all love, that we all love, continuing to flourish. Go to Patreon. Uh, find an artist that you want to you want to partner with. Um, you can also go to uh, numerous arts organizations, um, pandemic related charities that are helping artists get through this difficult time. So be a friend to artists if you can. Um, all right. We also want to um, spotlight say thank you to the folks at All About Jazz who simulcast a lot of these um, concerts. If you're an artist, go make an artist page. If you're a patron and you have the resources, go make a donation. Um, important support. Important to support the jazz journalism happening at All About Jazz. 25th anniversary. What do you get someone for the 25th anniversary? You don't get them the flower arrangement because that flower arrangement over there is reserved for artists. And my mom asked me every single day what's going on with that arrangement over there. And I always put it back incorrectly. So, all right. Moving on. Uh, the word of, actually, the word of the day, yes. We always pick a music word of the day. And there will be a pop quiz at the end of this. If you could tell me what the music word of the day is, in the comment field, when I ask, you will get a prize. The prize is a dog presenting you a, a um, trophy. And you know you want, there it is. You know you want, it, you know you want that. We have a five-time defending champion, Claudia Miranda. Can you defend your crown? We will see. All right. So the word of the day is inspired by the artist. Their uh, band name begins with an I-N. So we picked a word. All right. Entrada. In, entrada. A term referring to the opening movement of a suite. In, an instrumental composition designed to accompany a procession. Entrada. I don't know if there will be any entradas today, but we will see. Word of the day. All right. So, moving forward, um, uh, we've also done, I think we skipped over this thing. We're doing a quarantine film series as well. 
But just to tell you what that's about, I have conversations with filmmakers in the morning because they don't have a life. Uh, we do conversations at 10.30 or 11 a.m. Eastern. These are conversations with filmmakers who created films that will have been accepted into top festivals like San Jose C Cinequest, in honor of our guest tonight, but also um, festivals like South by Southwest and Tribeca Film Festival. Tomorrow morning, I am doing a conversation with a film, with a director, and we've done probably a dozen or so of these conversations. So stay tuned. These are the movies that are going to be on Netflix and HBO and Hulu in the next few weeks and, and months ahead. So... Uh, you want to support filmmakers, keep it here as well. Um, all right, Julian, I see you there. You did win Saturday Night Word of the Day. I'm sorry I didn't mention your name. So Claudia Miranda and Julian Seinfeld. There was a split decision. You did actually win, Julian, so thanks for your for mentioning that. All right, if you want to find us, where can you find us? You can find us on the Facebook. You can find us on the Twitter. You can also find us on the very delicious Instagram cracker well, where my friend's about to take a pre-drink, I think pre-gaming a little bit maybe. So, um, and uh, we're also on LinkedIn. Ah, see, this is the behind the scene cut. They're both pre-gaming right now for the main event about to happen. Um, Instagram cracker also on LinkedIn. If you lost your job, 30, over 30 million people have lost your job in this country because of the pandemic. Um, if you're on LinkedIn looking for a job, we hope to keep you motivated and inspired to go crush your job search. Stay with us. Enjoy the music. We're also on Periscope. Here's my Periscope. Up Periscope. Down Periscope. Left Periscope. Right Periscope. Okay, my friends in the Navy are cringing, but whatever. So we're also on Twitch. We'd be twitching. Um, all right. If you want to be on the broadcast, it's going to be difficult because we only have like a couple, like 19, 18 shows left. Um, but if you want to, you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. But if you want to skip the line, there's only one way to do that. Uh, clients with Sandra and Camilo, they get preferential treatment. So put some pressure on them for, one, for once. Don't pressure me. Reach out to them. All right? I'll get you on the show. With that, opening spiel is always the worst. The best part is the bands, the incredible artists that we get to meet. And this artist, you know when you, when you meet someone for the first time, you feel like you hear that sound as a producer. You're like, the first couple notes, you're just like, that, that, that sound. This is what I heard during sound check. The first couple notes and chords, they have such great energy, such great spirit. They really are remarkable. And I've been listening to their albums um, all day, really, as I was exercising, as I was walking. Uh, incredible, uh, incredible dynamic duo, an acclaimed Latin pop duo, which formed in 2010 in Buenos Aires. And uh, they're just a joy to be with. And they're performing, their, their productions are just done at the highest level. There's first class arranging, first class um, composition, first class harmonies. You can, I cannot wait to chat with them. Um, please welcome to the show, Individuo. <laughs> wow. Bravo. All now, right. I have to say, Kavir, not very many people get the pronunciation correct. And Latinos, you would think that they would get it right. They don't. So, so they would say Individuo. Yeah. <laughs> See? Which is I, not yeah. the same. Exactly. Well, I do take duo, my Spanish lessons on duo every single day. So I feel like <laughs> that that's trained me well. First of all, I want to um, just make sure we know the audience. I know both of your names, but maybe introduce yourself so people know your individual names as well. Hey, my name is Tiffany Joy. And I am Maki. Got it. Got it. Tell me where you're broadcasting from today. We are in Northern California uh, in a city called San Jose, about 40 minutes south of San Francisco for the, those of you who don't know the Bay Area, but we call it the Bay Area. Gotcha, gotcha. By the way, if uh, I'm in Atlanta, you guys are in San Jose. Everyone who's watching, tell us where you're watching from. I want to tell, I want to share with these incredible artists everywhere that their music is re reverberating. Nice. They can't be with you in person, but yeah. tell us where you are. And extra points, if you can tell me what the San Jose airport code is. Whoever can tell us the San Jose airport code, drop a comment, and you will get a shout out from all of us if you can tell us the San Jose airport, airport code. Um, tell me first, how has the quarantine affected both of you guys? And what did you have lined up that's since been canceled? Well, when the quarantine first hit, we were we, we are primarily dedicated to, we're recording artists, but at that time when the quarantine hit, we were working about three or four days a week performing live at um, local venues, uh, wineries, bars, private events. private events, weddings, corporate events. And so our schedule just went completely blank. I mean, all the venues, our regular gigs and some of the bigger gigs we had, they all just called to cancel. And it was just very shocking and scary. And we were like, OK, we got to reinvent ourselves and do something new. But at first it was it was a little depressing. It was a little hot. It was a little tough. I, I, be 
I believe it. I believe it. And how has um, quarantine, have you, how have you structured your quarantine life? Do you have a routine? Do you make a bed every day? Do you go for a walk? How does that feel? Kind of have a routine. Not, 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 I would say like we would do some things. Like, for example, we, especially here, you exercise every morning. I have to. I'll go crazy if <laughs> I don't. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, I would read something every day at some point. We have some time to play new instruments, for example. That's that's something very cool because we have the time. So I'm trying to play the harmonica. I'm she's, studying the cello. She's playing the cello. Wow. So that, that's very cool. And we have been writing, basically writing and reading more. And really, truthfully, we've been super devoted to creating content because we thought, okay, well, if we can't go out and perform, one, we miss performing. So every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we do a live from our bedroom right here. And it lasts for however long it lasts. And we drink a lot of wine and a lot of whiskey. <laughs> and all our friends join and all of our fans join. And our fans are like our familia, right? So, so they the join. whiskey, it's not part of the routine. You don't have to drink the whiskey, but you can. <laughs> and so we have so much fun. So we've been doing that every Friday. That's one thing. And then we've, we've started to produce a new album. We were just like, okay, this is a really good opportunity. And we just basically reached out to all these producers we wanted to work with. One's in Miami. One's in Buenos Aires. One's in Bogota. And so the routine has been pretty musical. Yeah, it's been musical. Writing, playing, learning, which is very cool, but still emotionally, what you said, it's still depressing. Still Every day it's a roller coaster, we miss, man. We miss playing yeah. live. So this is actually very cool, Kabir. Thank you for having me. Of course, us. of course. Here are some places that are tuning in. So we have, tell me if you've, you've toured in these places. We have Daisy um, in Houston is saying H Towns in the house. You guys we been to Houston? A- we haven't been to Houston, but we had tickets to go to Austin to be at South by Southwest and play these festivals, and we had to cancel, and we stayed home. So we would have made it, but no. <laughs> Got it. Little Compton, Rhode Island's in the house. Cool. Um, and we have a lot of people getting SJC. Nora, That's Monica, um, Arles St. Peter, SJC. So people are getting the uh, the airport code. Uh, I always mess it up, but okay, cool. Um, is there a... Um, before, I'm already going to anticipate the question because I know it's coming when we hear your music. So I'm going to scoop the question. What is your composition process? Because your music is so well rendered. What is your composition process uh, when you when you take an idea and put it into into words? Wow. I always think about it like a negotiation because that's something very intimate. So writing music, it's not easy to do with someone else. Thank God we can do it together, but still... We, we have our weaknesses and our strengths. So for example, most of our music starts maybe in the piano or in the guitar with a, with a progression and just a la, 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 like a melody. Then she jumps with the harmony. It's still la, 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 but harmony, that's when we know that the song, it's good because we love just singing it. And then the most difficult, I would say, it's putting the lyrics to the song. Trying to fit with the la la la. Lyrics are always last for us. We're very melodic and we have a tendency to to kind of lean towards the same melodies. We like the same melodies and I would say melodically we really understand each other. So we always, we even have a song called Tarariar, which in Spanish means to la 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 because we couldn't put words over the la la because it was too beautiful. There's there's even a verb for that. There's a verb for that. Gotcha, gotcha. Speaking about beautiful, we have the Philly Burbs, Philadelphia Suburbs tuning in and uh, New Jersey tuning in and nice. also speaking about, speaking about beautiful we love to hear some of your beautiful music what would you like to begin your performance with tonight we thought we'd start out with a song that uh, Mackie wrote this song a few years ago it's from our new album Mensajes which launched uh, May of uh, just this past year and it's a song that I'll, Mackie wrote for time as if time was a person so basically this song is our conversation with time personifying time so this is called Amigo Tiempo and you have good good English, uh, good Spanish, Kavir. I've heard you, so you get it. But for those who don't understand, Amigo Tiempo is like my dear friend time because it's really the conversation I was having that early morning with the time. And I was pretty much asking for a truce because we feel like it's everything is going so fast. So this is kind of a, the message. It's a bolero. That's the rhythm. And it goes like this. Should we sing? Like Vamos. This? Tiempo, 
Hace años que te vengo persiguiendo Y por alguna razón yo nunca te encuentro Sé que te conozco bien pero ya no me acuerdo Ni siquiera sé tu edad, solo tengo recuerdos Que he podido capturar Amigo tiempo, no tengas miedo, sé que debes continuar envejeciendo oh, oh, oh. Solo te pido compasión cuando este cuerpo en el que vivo ya esté viejo Cuando se apague mi voz, amigo tiempo, dame una tregua por favor Amigo tiempo, hace años que te vengo Razón, no logro esconderlo En silencio te clavaste en mi piel y en mis huesos Te entregué mi juventud, tú me diste un consejo Y hoy camino y miro atrás sin remordimientos Amigo tiempo, te agradezco cada instante en este cuento Oh, oh, oh cuando este cuerpo en el que vivo ya esté viejo Cuando se apague mi voz, amigo tiempo Dame una tregua por favor, para un momento Solo te pido compasión Cuando este cuerpo en el que vivo ya esté viejo cuando se apague mi voz, amigo tiempo, dame una tregua por favor, para un momento. Yeah. I like that fancy that's a, that's a that's a You guys are, have a huge following in Atlanta. <laughs> I can hear that, man. That's I have cool. no idea. So everyone knows what to do. If you put the emoji on a comment, I will translate your emoji into real. Here we go. So Daisy's got some clap. Oh. Here's Daisy. All right. Daisy's is clap, 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 clap. Camilo's is. Heart clap, heart clap, heart clap, heart clap, 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 clap. That's awesome. Max Maxim's is clap, 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 clap. Um, Daisy, you gotta. What is this? Very crazy clapping. Who? I like that. Who? Who? And then we have Daisy again. Hug, hug, hug. That's amazing. Clap. All right, and then Makiko, beautiful as always. Um. So that's enough of that. That really was beautiful. Um, what a beautiful uh, performance. Thanks for, for sharing. Thank um, you. Just some questions coming in. Um, Tiffany, some questions. People want to see your melodica up close. Oh, yeah. And they want to see the graphic work on it. For sure, yeah. Um, it's a honer, a, a melodica. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I've had, you know, I've tried to shy away with from this one and get other ones that are fancier, maybe more expensive, and they're all sitting in the garage. And this is the one I tour with and play with all the time. On the back, as you can see, it's got this really cool kind of Navajo arrangement. And wait, can you hand me that on the bed, honey? Look. What? What the case, want? the case. Hand me the case. Ah, the case. This is the reason why I bought the melodica. <laughs> Women around the world will understand this. This is why I bought the melodica. Wow. How amazing! How cute is that? 
It's beautiful. Yes, I mean, very matchy offer, matchy. You offer a woman a matching anything, <laughs> matchy, even matchy. a musical instrument. She's like, I have to have that. So I didn't even yeah. know how to play it once I saw the matching set. And, I only get but, matchy matchy lattes, but yes. Oh, there you go. Uh, so the um, Julian says the melodica is such a sadly underutilized instrument, beautifully performed by Tiffany. Thank you very much. I totally agree with you, and we try to. We've been incorporating it in more and more tunes. We just launched a new single with, with which also has a melodica line in it, and. I never thought I'd actually be recording it in the studio, but when you hear on the album Amigo Tiempo, that's actually me playing in the studio, the melodica. We used it, the real melodica in the recording, which was very cool. Gotcha, gotcha. One more thing on the melodica. There's, there's, there is a melodica, there's a melodica where you play right into it rather than having the, the straw, right? Have you seen those where you play right? You can. You just take oh, okay. off the straw. Got it. I just like, I like to have more freedom. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Tell me about um. Let's put your um project Mensai is up on the up on the screen. Walk me through the that production. What you so wanted Ms. to. Ms. That's very cool that you asked because Mensai is our second album and I think we are still in love with it and we love and it has a beautiful backstory and a lot of stories. So we we pretty much were writing music and songs. Can you just pause really quick? I'm yes. sorry because they're saying in Instagram that they can't hear us, Kabir. Um, if you're on Instagram. Come over to Facebook or come over to Facebook. Should we do anything on our end or? Oh, Probably yeah, not. So Keep trucking here though. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me do this. Let me try to fix it. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. So we, we were looking for a producer. We had songs. We got married in 2017. We had a beautiful year full of inspiration and new songs and very cool music going on. And we started looking for a producer, and that's kind of a big deal for, for, a, for an album. So we were looking for a lot of people, uh, maybe not with a big budget, but with a big heart and with good songs, because the songs were very good. And for some reason, we ended up talking with an amazing producer, friend, guy. His name was, because he passed away, and that's part of the story. His name was Dan Warner, and he's a... He was an amazing, amazing musician, producer, guy. So long story short, we ended up uh, doing this, producing it with, with him. Uh, the songs and the production are amazing. And sadly, he passed away last year, a couple of months after we finished the album. And we were actually touring to launch the album, and we were on city number five of a five city tour to launch the album and it was the night that we were going to perform our last launch concert in Buenos Aires Argentina which is where we wanted to close the tour because that's kind of where we met and it's like our, our, our second home or really our first home in our hearts so the morning of that show is when we got a call from Miami another friend of ours called to tell us about Dan and it was hands down the hardest show we've ever had to play in our lives mm. so uh, this met this album messages mensajes is, is so beautiful and it's so nostalgic and it means so much to us for so many reasons, and that's just one one of them, really. Dan is, I mean, he's with us all the time, and he guides us, and but he's a hero to us, and, and really it's so special. that This is the last album he produced before. He was working on an album with Arjona when he passed, but this is mm. the last album that he fully produced and launched before he passed away. So. And it wow. has seven songs that everyone, it's beautiful, and it has a strong messages, so we are totally in love with that album. So Yeah, it's beautiful. By the way, where, were this, where was this picture taken on the cover? Um, that's at, that, that was, was at a Pigeon beat, Point, yeah, right? Yeah, that was at Pigeon Point in Northern California, near Half Moon Bay, I guess just north. And it didn't look like that at all until our design, designer got his hands on it. Really talented designer who lives in Morocco, actually, Hicham, Hicham Design. And um, so we wanted to do like a message in a bottle theme. So that's that's what we were going for there. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Thrown a message in the bottle into the water? I have not. Or into the sea, maybe into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Were you really yeah. drunk or what? I need a, I need a beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, let's get there. Let's get the song list up on the screen too. And by the way, the Instagram we're getting mixed. Some people saying the Instagram works. Some people say it doesn't. So no I don't know if it's your at all. It's if weird. it's your i I don't know if it's your i rig. I wonder if I um, can go and check and unplug it. We can just do ambient sound if that would be better. Um, possibly. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Let and me then, go see what's going on over and, there. And uh, and Mackie, why don't you talk to us? Why don't you walk us through? Uh, some of these songs that are on the album. Of course, of course. So look, the first song is called De Repente, which means suddenly. And it's a beautiful song talking basically about how important money has become in our lives. And we get it. We need money. But I, we, we strongly think, and but in that moment, we were touring Europe, like walking Europe with our guitars. We were very connected with 
with people, with, with Earth. So we strongly believe that we may be giving more importance to money than it deserves. So that song talks about that. It's like uh, dreams are still bigger and more important than money. Sometimes, and actually most of the time, we don't know the money, where it's going to come from or how are we going to make it. But somehow everything works out at the very end. So that's the song about and That's very, it's kind of, no, it's not, I wouldn't say reggaeton at, at all, but it's a little bit more upbeat and it's very cool because we love both. Nope. Uh, upbeat, danceable versus kind of ballads or... So that's that's a very yeah. cool. And you did Amigo Tiempo already, which is a beautiful number. Uh, the one I really enjoyed was La Misma Piedra. Did you like that one? Yeah, I was listening to it earlier. Do, do you have a video on that? No. Yeah, yeah I think yes. I'll watch the video. Exactly. Yeah, we, we have a video for that one. And you did Amigo Tiempo. There's my echo. Yeah, she's figuring <laughs> out. I'm did trying to figure it out. I'm not sure. You guys tell us on Instagram if you can hear us now. Yeah. So tell, tell me about La Misma Piedra. Well, that's a new single that we just launched. And that song basically, in Spanish, that means the same stone. And the, the concept is that we have a tendency as human beings to always trip over the same stone. And I speak for myself. I, you know, I've struggled a lot in my past with depression and anxiety. And Is that a saying also in English? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, because yeah. in Spanish it is, te tropiezas con la misma piedra. Yeah, in, in English it's the same way. You trip okay. over the same stone. And so I feel like we kind of wrote this song for me many years ago. Like, <laughs> you know, because I was dealing with a lot of, I go really fast. I mean, I think we've, We've done a lot of things in our career as a duo because yeah. I have always have like a fire under my, you know, she, and I'm just like, we got to keep moving forward. She's a hummingbird. I am. I'm a hummingbird. But at the same time, you know, sometimes I go too fast <laughs> and make mistakes. It's not always effective. So I think that you got to learn to slow down and, and be methodical and, and, and smart and make wise decisions. And so I think the song was just a little bit for me. And, and there's a moment in the song where I rap. I mean, I don't rap. It's like spoken word poetry and it's in English. English. Yeah. It's in English. Yeah, we did this in this song and in Pelea because we wanted to kind of start a trend. And so there's a moment when I say, here I go again, commit the same crime for the last time. Will you be mine in the morning? So I'm basically saying to him, like, I did it again. Don't leave me, you know? It's <laughs> so a beautiful. that's pretty much. That's yeah, it's, it's really. About. And really, the English is really jarring because you're in the middle of the Spanish tune and it comes at you. And it, right. It's really an alert moment. Everyone watching, I want you to check out um, their website. So let's get that up on the screen on the crawl. I want everyone to go and bookmark. Yes, bookmark the page if you can. Nice. Um, there it is. Oh, there's the Patreon side too. Go to patreon.com and Indie DV mu Duo Music. That is a that is the mouthful, putting it all together. But, <laughs> but click on that, and that's where you can actually uh, be a patron and support them and their music making, and um, they have all kinds of little packages there. Important for everyone to subscribe there. Also make sure to look them up on Spotify and the streaming services so that you get notified on their wonderful music, which we're about to hear some more of. Thank you. Nice. What would you like to play next? Um, well, uh, we were thinking that we would play, um, let's see, this is the second to last single that we launched. the capo. I had it here two seconds ago. Two seconds ago. ago. Yeah, all right. We're having technical difficulties. So you grab it. Um, it's a song that has a really cool story. It's called Hasta Que Llueva, which means Until It Rains. And we co-wrote it. It's the only song on the album that was co-written with another composer. His name is Juan Carlos Perez Soto. He's a Venezuelan composer. A really brilliant guy, really beautiful soul. And one night we were at Dan's, at Dan Warner's, the studio we were working on some stuff, and he set up a songwriting session for us with Juan Carlos. So we literally walked three doors down in Miami to the other studio, and uh, we sat with Juan Carlos to compose, and the thing is it was pouring. So by the time we walked from Dan's to Juan Carlos, as we were soaked. I had like melodica and the guitar, and we were soaked, and he handed me a towel, and he's like, you're soaking wet. I have an idea for a song. And it was really funny because he had read earlier uh, that week that there was a tribe in the United States that was famous for doing the rain dance. Every time they danced, it would rain. It was a thing. It really worked. And so <laughs> he, he was, he, you know, the, they were, everyone was impressed by that, by this. And they sent a journalist in. They allowed a journalist to come in to meet with the head of the tribe. And the journalist was super nervous. And he went in front of the head of the tribe. And the, he was very serious. And the journalist was very respectful. And he said, sir... Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I, I got to ask. I got to know. How do you do it? How do you make it rain? And the chief very seriously is like, it is simple. We just dance until it rains. Right? And it's so it's, it's hilarious, right? It's funny. But it's also super profound. 
And we were hit by that because we went, oh my God, it's like we're trying so hard to make it happen. Like we're waiting for that next big break or we're waiting for that contract to come through or that person to finally propose or that job opportunity to come through. Or, or that song. Or, or that song to hit on the radio or a certain number of followers, right? We're just waiting. And a lot of times we don't enjoy the process. So we thought, okay, what if we can learn to dance until it rains and enjoy that process and learn to play until it hurts? So that's what the lyrics say. Great, vominous. Duele más de lo esperado Si alguna vez Te ha tocado perder No tengas miedo porque No importa el lado donde caiga la moneda Aprendamos a bailar hasta que llueva Y que importa que el futuro no se vea Aprendamos a jugar hasta que duela Aprendamos a bailar hasta que llueva Ya lo sé El tiempo pasa y pasa y no se ve Como debe ser eh, Como debe ser, es verdad <risa> Tal vez La vida es solo un juego un viaje que juegas con los pies Cuando el camino se hace largo y pesado Y la tristeza duele más de lo esperado Si alguna vez te ha tocado perder No tengas miedo porque No importa el lado donde caiga la moneda Aprendamos a bailar hasta que llueva Y que importa que el futuro no se vea Aprendamos a jugar hasta que duela Y aunque a veces por el miedo no lo creas Somos huelgas y de la tierra Y qué importa si el destino no te espera Aprendamos a bailar hasta que llueva a bailar hasta que llueva y que importa que el futuro no se vea aprendamos a jugar hasta que duela y aunque a veces por el miedo no lo creas somos nuevos que han nacido de la tierra y que importa si el destino no te espera aprendamos a bailar hasta que llueva I love it. Huge. It's like we're in a stadium. It's amazing. <laughs> so that was wonderful and very moving. And we have everyone is putting emojis of it raining and umbrellas. Yay! Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. We got to just, we just keep doing it, you know? And I think it's appropriate for these times. 
Exactly. I, I feel exactly. like I need this song so much. Sometimes I go on a run and I listen to it. I'm like, oh, well, we wrote this, but I really need it. It's like a gift, you know? It's, it's, it is a gift. We need to hear that because we exactly. just don't know when this is going to be over. We don't know when things are going to change. And we got to just do the best we can with what we have from where we are. I like how you put that. So we ask our audience always, uh, we, we are so honored with your music. What should we present to you? Is you're giving us your wonderful gift of music. What can we present to you? And um, we've only had this honor once, I think, before on our show. We want to present you something that rarely gets handed out. Uh, we have a lot of different things we hand out. So we want to present you on behalf of the audience. They've all kind of made their comments clear. On behalf of the Quarantine Concert Series, we would like to present to you the horse, the horse trophy. The horse trophy. Okay, I love horses. What is that This mean? is getting good. This is getting good. Oh, oh, yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. Look at the face. So... The That's thing awesome. that makes us unique, the horse trophy is actually the highest honor on the show. Um, but but we also, people are saying we really should give you both trophies because your music is that good. So we're going to give you a second trophy. Not only do you get the horse trophy, you also get oh my God. The, the penguin trophy. Too. No way. <laughs> no way. The penguin trophy. My mom loves penguins. Oh, I can't wait to show this to her. Mom, look at the penguin trophy. Is, she, is your mom connected? No, but I don't think so. She's babysitting. But oh my gosh, I gotta show her that. She's gonna freak out. I love it. Look at that. So penguin. two so trophies cute. in the same day. This is a good day. Yeah, this is yeah. a great day. My, two trophies for Indie TV duo. That's right. <laughs> you are awesome. So you are awesome. I want ever see now. Now the comments are really coming in. <laughs> Everyone was like, give them both, give them both. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, like, guys, thank you. it's like with the, with the bullfights in the state. Yeah. They say, give two, two little, two years. Yeah. Uh, crazy. <laughs> give them two. And now for the uh, hard hitting questions of the interview um, that, that have been coming in, I, I just reflect these questions. So over on LinkedIn, they want to they wanna dig in. The questions on LinkedIn are asking you, what is the difficult, most difficult part of navigating a relationship while also working together? Dude, good one. Yeah, wow. should, should you go first or should I go first? Uh, Let's not fight on air. No, I would say that one of the most, there's a lot of challenges, but I think one of the most, the biggest challenge is to keep separated because we live in a little cottage. We have instruments all over and we're doing music all over, so sometimes the la it's a thin line between being husband and wife and being just partners. So I think that's the thing. We have to find a way and some, somehow find the, the romance or, and find the other side of the, of the coin because it's very easy to get lost. I think that's one of the... Yeah I, think, yeah, I think that's a really good one. I think it's also each person has to have, and I believe this for any, every relationship, each person has to have the mind to know themselves and know, okay, I'm really going through it. I'm going to go for a run or I'm going to write in my journal, or I'm going to watch a, a TV series with my mom or whoever you have, or on my tablet on my own, because I need to not be around you right now. Like, I think that's okay. And I think when you're quarantined with a couple, with a partner, that's what you got to do. You got to just set limits. And for us, we're lucky because our aphrodisiac is making, creating and doing music. So the fact that we get to do that all the time, we're just so happy, you know, doing things like this. So thank you for the opportunity, um, doing our lives on Friday, producing we're, we're uh, tonight we're going to record vocals for a new single we're getting ready to launch so and last night we were up till two in the morning recording vocals drinking wine or just playing music yeah so yeah but still that's that it. yeah that's we're lucky but it's challenging great answers some, some rapid fire questions here mackie people are asking about your guitar what kind of guitar is it Ooh, the this, new is one. A, this is a cordova it's actually a flamenco guitar it's a flamenco but it's half it's a half you know, body it's not the whole it's not the whole but the, the one before this one it broke. It's a sad story. In a, in a, I'm gonna tell it really quick. It broke. So this is yeah. the the latest, the latest daughter. <laughs> yeah, this is the new child because we were playing in San Francisco for Dia de los Muertos in November, mm -hmm. and he was playing with my full body Cordoba that um, I'm totally obsessed with, and I've had it for years. So it's Cordoba C5 CET That's for those C5 who CET. know. Yeah. And it's, it's, they say it's a flamenco guitar. It's a half body classical. But anyways, yeah. we're playing with a full body and it's, it came loose from the strap and it fell on the asphalt and it, it exploded and I had like a minor heart attack. <laughs> and then we were lucky enough to be able to get this one. So, so It's beautiful. Is it nylon strings? 
Yeah. Yes, we love night. We have both. We have an electric, but for this kind of setting, I think it's more intimate. I love nylon. It's more, yeah. It's warmer. Uh, Jennifer wants to know how often you water the plant behind you. Oh, <laughs> actually, I just that was part of the staging, and actually that one lives outside, and I water it once a week. Jennifer. Good. So Jennifer yeah. just made our day because we take care of the plant, so yeah. that's good that she's looking up. I yeah, try good to bring a plant good into thing. a life because green gives you, you know, good energy. Good thing, Shui. Um, yeah. Robert says, I'm about to graduate um, studying in music without a graduation. Uh, what advice can you give me to make a career as a performing artist? Hmm. Oh, goodness. Um, I don't know if an advice, because I'm not on a place to advise, but I have a lot of experience because we have been doing this a lot. So the reason I say this is that some things that have worked for us may not work for someone else. That's something that I learned. But there's some things that I totally would say, like if you feel the passion for, for music, if you feel like the, that you need to get it out, that's your thing. If not, you have to find it. What, what part of music? Because, for example, my brother plays the saxophone and he was struggling to keep with the music. He loves music, but that was not his thing. So he plays saxophone now for fun, but he's a sound engineer. It's still with music, but that's his passion. So that's a big difference. So find your passion and then jump. And I would just add to that, too. When I was young, I started writing mu music when I was really young. And I used to get frustrated because I, th I, th I thought, gosh, I'm just writing these songs in my room. How is everyone ever how is anyone ever going to hear them and this was also before social media and all that so i thought how unless i get a record deal no one's ever going to hear these songs so my dad used to come in and my dad's an artist too and he he, he paints and anyways so he would come in and he said to me he would see me depressed and he would say honey all you he said i recommend you just do something every day towards your art towards your passion even if you don't know what is going to come even if you can't see the fruit of that labor just keep doing one thing every day towards your passion and so i would write and then I would learn a few new chords and then I maybe I would learn about practice my voice or do something else. And, but I mean, I think that's a great tip because I think we get so caught up in how to make it work that we forget that every day we've got to still do it. You know? Yeah, really well said and great practical advice to make, you know, micro steps if you can every day. Yep. Um, and then you get to sound. Well, I can't promise you'll sound as wonderful as these two, but um, <laughs> we, we would love to hear some, some more music. What would you yeah. like to perform next? Oh, I'm really excited about this next one. So we have a, a, another song from Mensajes, and this is a very special one. It's called Pelea, which means, how do you know this? Pelea? Yes. I know it so well, you're going to tell me what it is. It, <laughs> it means fight. Ah, fight. fight. Pelea. Yeah. I haven't gotten that far in duo. All I know is play. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. So, so Pelea, cool. which yeah. means fight, it's a good fight. We had this, we have this cool friend. He's a musician. He's from California. We love him, and uh, unfortunately, he got into this dark place uh, with a lot of alcohol, and his addiction was getting bad, so he was not good. So we saw him. We were so touched by, by the situation, so we wrote this song for him. So this is the pelea we're talking about. The fight is a good fight. Come on, brother, fight. We know what exactly. Fight with your demons, because you are the only one who can get out of there. So this is pretty much what it says can you do you want to tell a little bit of the lyrics that you always do it basically just says you know a fight I know what you're made of and that coldness in your chest it won't win the fight you'll win the fight don't let your guard down come and give me a hug I'm here for you but you got to keep fighting that's basically what the song's about and I love it because it's a salsa salsa is innate in a Colombian and I, I'm a big lover of salsa I've danced salsa for like I don't know 15 20 years so we both love that we love it's a rhythm that we love but we hadn't launched anything in salsa. I mean, we hadn't launched a, a salsa song until this one. So it's very special. And I think it's cool because sometimes you think when you're going through something dark and moody and broody, the music has to reflect that. But I don't agree. I think if you can salsa it out and be like, I'm fighting here, you know? <laughs> and so I think there's something really beautiful. Out. You can sweat it out. And I know for a fact that our friend we wrote this for, he's been boxing to this song a lot. And it really moves him. And he's doing really well, by the way. And so I think that that's something that's cool when you're really going through it. And it doesn't have to be an addiction. We're all fighting for something or against something. It's just a part of human nature to fight, to get from one place to another, or feel like we have to fight for our dreams or for our family or against something that's difficult. So this is So pelea. this is Pelea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
solo Pero aquí estamos sin querer Tú con tristeza y yo sin calma Tal vez mañana Tú no recuerdes que te hablé Yo no me olvidaré tu cara Sé que estás cansado Que has dormido poco Estás asustado Me duele verte así tan roto Sé que estás muy triste Te has quedado solo Sé que te perdiste Te estás matando poco a poco Pelea Yo sé de qué estás hecho Este pie en el pecho No te gana la pelea Pelea Con todo tu aliento Cuando sopla el viento El corazón se tambalea Pelea Yo sé de qué estás hecho Este vicio hermano No te gana la pelea Is, trying to make the hope stick, but this darkness got you heart sick. It's only failure if you give up the fight. Bring it back now, remember your light. I know what you're bit of. I can see that you're afraid of having cut all the beautiful ties that held you to this life. Broke, you don't know your own name, and I won't let this mask be the end of your game. Sé que estás cansado, que has dormido todo, estás asustado, me duele verte así tan roto. Sé que estás muy triste, te has quedado solo, sé que te perdiste y te estás matando poco a poco. Pelea, yo sé de qué estás hecho, este pie en el pecho no te gana la pelea. Freaking good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cabrera. Thank you, guys you are, to you all guys, of you guys. <laughs> you guys are really super talented, and I don't say that to everyone on the show. I love all the guests on the show, but you guys are special. Thank um, you so much for saying that. So, I don't know how I'm going to translate these. Clap, dance, fire. Clap, dance, fire. I help. This is really exciting. Wait, you, are there no kisses in there? I just want to see you go. <laughs> no kisses in there in this one. <laughs> Ma I love Maxine. Maxine keeps it simple. Clap, 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 clap. clap. Heart, heart, clap, clap. Heart, heart. That's clap, a classic. Clap, clap. Yeah, that's a classic. The heart is it's, awesome. It's like you're doing the YMCA. It's so hilarious. Yeah, it's the Morse code. It's the Morse code of um, emojis. Um, I do want to uh, give a shout out. We do have a new word of the day winner. We have oh. a new word of the day winner. Intrada. Yes. Well, 
now two winners. So, <laughs> oh, I messed <laughs> it up. Yeah, you were not supposed oh, to say that. No, 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 no. We already, we already dropped you already the, uh, the. Okay, the, good. So we want to. We have a new champion. Claudia has been dethroned, unfortunately. So Daisy, uh, I'm freezing up here. Daisy, um, you're now the champion. The word of the day winner. Let's put it up on the screen. Word of the day. Entrada, Daisy. There you go. Daisy, nice. Daisy. Congratulations, Let me see where, Daisy. Um, where did you give me the name? Congratulations, Daisy. See, Daisy? Clap, heart, You're getting clap, a, heart, a shout heart, out. Heart, heart. <laughs> <laughs> she was fast. I'm, she said it like so far, So. I can't even find it because you said it like really quickly. So Daisy, you're now the defending <laughs> champion. Only um, we can see if you can defend your crown on the next on the next episode, Daisy. So you have to tune in and see if you can defend your crown. Uh, we looked. I think at one final selection, right, for us. Yeah, we Get can one play one more. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more, and uh, and we'll wrap it after that. Of course. Nice. Well, we were gonna play another ballad, but I think this crowd likes to dance, so. So let's play, let's play a, a very cool let's song, play, and yeah. this is the backstory really fast. So we have been together for ten years. But we just got married three years ago. So we were dating for seven years. So that year of our wedding was very special. Oh, yeah. And for our honeymoon, we went to Cuba, to Havana, because we are in love with salsa, with Latin music. So that, that's the place to be. And one of these crazy, beautiful, magic, unique nights, we were tipsy with some mojitos. We were singing at some bar. Understatement of the year. We were hammered. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> and then we were walking down the Malecon with a little guitar, and we just said, let's write a song, like a Cuban song, just for fun, without any pretensions or without thinking about an album. And it was so cool that it made it to album. It's called Cantor, and, and I, it's, I, a, it's I, a very Cuban song. And I want to mention, too, when we put this on the album, album it was an afterthought, so Dan was like, we got, let's throw another song on the album. And so we were like, but we want it to be very... Very us, and Dan was like, yeah, I want it to just be you guys in a room. So when we recorded the guitars, we did it without a click track. It was just Mackie just recording. And then we brought, when we brought in, we, it was Richard Bravo, an amazing percussionist. He did the percussion. And Dan was like, Richard, I need you to pretend you don't really know how to play percussion. Like pretend you just turned a, a, like a refrigerator over on the beach, like one of those little, like an igloo, and you're just playing the igloo. And Richard's like, okay. And he's like, no, very simple, very simple. And we basically made the song to sound like it was just a bunch of friends together on the beach playing. And there's a moment, if you go and listen to it on Spotify, there's a moment in the song where I, get, I say, I yell out in the background, hey, Dan, pass me the rum. And I say that because Dan was a big rum fan. He, that was his favorite liquor. So. And we were having a party. We were having a party. Pretty much. So this is called Cantor, Honeymoon, Cuba, In Love, Mojitos. This is what happens. <laughs> Chiquito, 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 
pensar que cuando te fuiste se perdió la magia, se fue el color. Cada día se hizo gris en Lisboa y en París. Voy quemando mis penas bajo el sol. Y canto, denme otra canción y un vasito de ron. Pa' matar el dolor, pa' matar el dolor, corazón, mi amor. Camilo, you are also awesome, parcero. Thank you very much. Cantor. Cantor. Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, we got standing ovation. That's standing nice. ovation. Standing ovation. That's Time. That's happened. Nice. We got Virtual a, standing ovation. We got it. a penguin trophy. And horse a, trophy. A horse trophy, a penguin trophy, and a standing ovation. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. And we even got flowers. Thank you for the flowers. Thank you, Kabir. Beautiful. We love them. <laughs> so awesome. Wait. Wait for it. Wait, Wait for, for it. it. I can't. I can't get used to this. I know, right? The flowers, the <laughs> trophy. Oh, oh, yeah. I got a plant. Green energy, baby. Look at this. Green energy. I love it. Even the plant is dancing. It's beautiful. <laughs> We're so lucky. We got everything. Good stuff. Oh, my God. Kabir, you made our oh, month. Yeah, you awesome. made our <laughs> month. Hey. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Se pudre that's, todo. No, that's really... No, no. He, no. Okay. He knows how to, you know, the way into my heart. <laughs> the big old bottle of what I think is champagne. Oh, I'm excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the applause just continues. Woo! I can't get used to this. <laughs> you guys are the most. Kabir, you made our month. You're so awesome. We, I seriously wish you do this more often because it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're the most awarded group ever on this show. I oh think my god! Now we'll <laughs> Good job, babe! Yeah. Actually, one more thing. Keep going, I love it. Of the audio, we need, hey, we should get some of this stadium. It's applause. already at an hour. You got the Buddha too. The Buddha what? Too, too. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I want all the prizes. Thank oh you. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I feel so I feel so lucky. You know, all these fancy awards. You are feeling spoiling very, us. You are spoiling <laughs> us, my friend. <laughs> feeling very much at peace. All right, thank you so much. Let me plug everyone quickly. So everyone, thank you for being on the show. Uh, really incredible artistry. Um, Let's make sure, let's just get their website up on the screen, ndtvduo.music.com. Everyone, please go there. You enjoy their wonderful music. There it is right there. Um, make sure you go there, subscribe. Also, let's put their Patreon link up there as well. If you love the music, you can be part of the music. Go support yep. them. Patreon.com slash music right there. And... Um, and for yeah, those there it is. There and, they are. and I know we lost Instagram, but if you could tell your Instagram people too, that would be awesome. I'm so yes. sad. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> check them out. I also um, want to thank the great tech team who produced the show, Sandra and Camila. Let's get their website up on the screen too. They do this, soundworksrecording.com. They have two dogs, Oreo or Maui. So if you're an artist out there that wants to work with them, mention one of their two dogs and you will get a discount. Nice. You can also schedule time just to spend with the, I like that. the dogs. Very cool. That's very Charge cool. by the hour. Um, and that's it. Uh, we have a great show lined up for tomorrow. So great. Um, let me tell you about it. I'll tell you about it tomorrow night. I'm just so overwhelmed by the music. Can't even think about tomorrow. <laughs> See everyone tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, I think we have Yamila, Yamila Gero. Yamila. 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 So everyone have a good night, 10 p.m. Eastern. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone.